Good morning, students. My name is Reverend Father Dr. Paul Manson Oba. This semester, I'm going to handle you on magazine management and production, Mark 332. In the course outline, we have the introduction, types of magazine ownership, publisher, editors, and duties of editors, staff in a magazine establishment, editorial process, managing the editorial routine, scheduling, qualification and skills required of a magazine editor, editorial planning and values of editorial planning, people involved in editorial planning, basic editorial policy, legal matters, copyright law. You can go to the DAP, Director of Academic Planning, for detailed course outline. So it is going to be what we're going to do throughout this semester. Within the 14 weeks spread out in this semester, we're going to handle all this. So you'll be disposed to it. And then introduction. A magazine disseminates more specialized information and commentaries on a regular basis to diverse audience than any regular medium of mass communication. Not even the radio or television can equal an information content of a single magazine. When we want, want to go in depth at a content, we usually turn to a magazine for it. On daily basis, more magazines are being established in Nigeria. The magazine industry is seriously growing and providing opportunity for fresh mass communication students. There are reasons, and we are going to see that reasons for it is also the reason behind the growth of magazines. And there are desires of people for many journalists to be on their own. This is very important. Readers also prefer reading magazine for more in-depth information, not just on the shallow level, like the newspaper. The production cost of magazine is somehow lower than that of radio and TV or newspaper. There is an increase in literacy rate and an improved living condition among the people. We also see there are different types of magazine ownership. In this, we have mapped out three areas. One, the multiple magazine publishing company, the media conglomerate or diversified publishing company, and then the single magazine publishing company. In the multiple magazine publishing company, here we make reference to companies, the type of company, it issues several magazines and may operate each as a subsidiary division of the main company. In this case, different types of magazine will be published by one company. If any of the magazine is having difficulty sustaining itself, the company uses the money realized from other magazine sources to maintain it until it comes back to life. So it has diversified magazine production. If any of the newspapers is having a problem with probably the government, uh, still others are flowing. They are not stopped because they do not commit any offense. We have such examples on Newswatch, uh, Quality and Echo magazines, the News and Tempo magazines. We also talk about the media conglomerate or diversified publishing company. This type of company operates in several media fields such as magazine publication, newspaper publication, radio and television stations. The conglomerate is a more diversified magazine company. It might have a small unit operating the magazine outfit of the company, while other resource persons are busy making other media sources operational. So conglomerate, that's a totality 
it, it, it touches all aspects of media. We have Nigerian Daily Times and Concord Weekly. In the single magazine publishing company, in this type of magazine ownership, the owner may appoint someone else to run the magazine or manage it personally. It is usually a sole magazine with a publisher publishing only one magazine as the name of the company dictates. Single magazine publishing company. Example of such magazine is the Tell Magazine. Tell Magazine. Now, I may lead you to the topic publisher. Who is the publisher? You, as a person, can stand as a publisher. The publisher might be the owner of a magazine or a representative of the owner, whichever be the case. In this situation, the publisher is the highest policy-making person in a given magazine. In the case of multiple, uh, in case of a, 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 a multiple publishing house, the publisher may be in charge of a group of magazines. The publisher also exercises power over the editorial and business side of the magazine but looks more at the business side of the magazine. His duty is to make sure that the magazine makes profits and survives while serving the public. The editor reports the publisher and advises him on what to do and how to keep the magazine afloat. What are precisely the editor and his duty? Can you, can somebody give me a few points on the duties of editor? Well, in line with that, within the magazine operation, the editor is likely to be one of three persons who reports to the publisher, as we have treated earlier. He can do that directly or indirectly through an assistant, Editors try to remain apart from the advertising and the circulation operation, but they assist with promotion and they appreciate the interrelationship among editorial. It is also important to note that magazines reflect the character of the editor. Even more important is the fact that the specialization of magazine allows plenty of running rooms for editors with unusual ideas. Whereas one newspaper appears pretty much like the other and tries to appeal to all the readers in town, a magazine on the other hand may aim at attracting a small devotion of readership or people who think like the editor. There are different types of titles that we can give to editor. And from his nomenclature, you can also derive his duty. We have uh, three uh, titles. You can say editor-in-chief, executive editor, and then the editor. However, for simplicity's sake and clarity, editor should be used. The top editor of any magazine, if any size, of any size, is an administrator. He hardly puts pencil on paper to write his own article except he is in seclusion at home or stays late at work to get the work done. As we said, the most important activities of an editor may manifest in four quarters. One, staff relations and communication, editorial supervision, planning, and public relations. In staff relations and communication, because of the busy nature of the office of the editor, he delegates most of his duties to some other persons to do it. But the bulk of most work still lies under his desk. These duties he does on his own. 
the editor spends lots of time with his staff individually or in group in order to share his ideas and taste with the people. This personal contact and communication with the staff is essential for staff work. This is how the editor stages communication and good relationship with them. The editor must devise a suitable uh, time to use his skills and journalistic judgment to supervise his staff and give them enough freedom to be creative while maintaining editorial standard. The editor must learn how to think ahead. Yes, how to think ahead while supervising his current issues. He must learn how to think in groups and bring forth ideas that will keep the magazine afloat. In planning, which is another area of his navigation, it is the duty of the editor to keep the advertising department in on the know. This will help both of them to have a meeting point. The reason being that the advert unit will like to have as many adverts as possible, while the editor will like to have as many editorial matters as possible. Both of them cannot have their way in a particular publication. The only way out is to keep each other on the know so that a meeting point can be reached before the publication is released. It should also be noted that every magazine needs advert to survive the stiff competition market without advertisement. I think it will stifle to death. In this case, it will be necessary that advert personals are briefed about the content of the upcoming issues so that they can use it to canvas for more adverts. The planning stage of magazine is very serious a matter that it is that is why editors do not play with this level of planning. Without plan, one crumbles and crushes. You must plan. You must plan. Planning is very important. Planlessness kills projects. I have to plan. I have to know what and what it will take to get a magazine published. What and what it will take to get you through the work. Do you really plan it or you just dabble into it how much is going to take what quantity of time when the the, the topics will be submitted uh, the particular date you are looking forward to rounding up things and then pushing it forward to the publisher to, to be published so all these are put under the auspices of uh, um, planning. So it's very necessary as an editor, you must look into this, you must harness it very well. So at this point in time, I think uh, you can go ahead to the, the Director of Academic Planning of Godfrey Okoye University to understand in details other aspects of these topics already treated. At this point in time, we well, thank you for listening and paying attention. May okay. God help you to go come out with flying colors at the end of this. God bless you.